Man, I understood you to say that you saw a news story and you wondered how something, trying to make sense out of something senseless, I think is how you described it, Dr. Harrell. That's, yes, that's, that, I did not, I, I think the, that's precisely what I said about why I was interested in doing this. Well, how I got involved, um, I was contacted by a colleague and he asked as a personal favor if I would do that. What colleague contacted you? Dr. Cecil Reynolds. Contacted you and asked you to get involved in the case? Yes, sir. And I ultimately um, met with defense counsel. And they explained to you that they needed you to go talk to him and see if he had brain damage? I don't think they framed it that way. How did they frame it? As I recall it, um, they basically wanted to know, they had already reviewed the history and they wanted to know if the facts of Mr. Uh, Daniel's life may have caused some problem with brain function. And they wanted me to evaluate that question. Well, but you could answer that question just by looking at that incident where he fell off the skateboard, correct? Partly, partly, yes, I think I could. But it's it's always uh, important to at least interview the patient, see them with your own eyes, and re independently review the record, which is what I attempted to do. You, you state that he has frontal lobe damage. Is that accurate? That's an inference I'm drawing from his history and from some of the behavior that we I observed. Your inference may be incorrect. Right? I don't think it is, but it, it, anything's possible. I understand you don't think it is. Mm -hmm. I can say I think it is, and we can argue about what we think, mm -hmm. but your inference about him having frontal lobe damage mm -hmm. could be incorrect. It's possible. Because most of what you base your inference on information provided to you by the defense? Well, all the medical records I had available to me was brought to me by the defense. I mean, no, I, no, of no, course no. that's I'm correct. Sorry. Maybe you misunderstood me. It was brought to you by the defendant, not the defense team, but the defendant is one who provided you the information that allows you to make that reference, that inference, that he has frontal lobe damage. I, I don't think I would really agree with that uh, assertion you're making. And it wasn't what Brandon was telling me exclusively, it was all of those things that I had available to me that led me to the conclusions that I came to. But what I have said, and I think I've been very consistent in what I've said, is a confluence of factors. I think those early events set the stage for him to struggle lifelong with depression and substance use, and, that, and because of the family of origin that he came from, that that was a problem that he, he had. And it's very clear from all the records that when the act occurred, the senseless act occurred, that he was so grossly under the influence of Xanax that all of those things led to why we are all here today. So are you saying here that because Brandon Daniel had a skateboard accident and he killed his sister? Absolutely not. Uh, are you saying that because Brandon Daniel is depressed, he killed the police officer? Absolutely not. Uh, because he had a uh, frontal cortex impulse control issue, therefore he killed the police officer? No. Uh, just because the person took Xanax, are you saying that's why the person killed the police officer? No, sir. Are you saying it's sort of the perfect storm? All those things came together in a terrible way, and that's why Brandon Daniel killed the police officer? That's how I understand it. Yes, sir. This word, you have frontal lobe dysfunction. Is it possible you can confused frontal lobe brain damage, a person having frontal lobe brain damage is someone who is just basically a psychotic killer? Well, a, a psychotic killer is not likely to have um, the history that Brandon has in particular, but they're not also likely to have difficulties with the capacity to smell. Cocaine? affect your capacity to smell? It can, sure. That's what you said.